Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Masters Liftoff. This is event two of the ladies section here at the battle. Completed five events for the men last night and this morning. The ladies completed their first functional fitness event in Arena 1. We're now looking at Arena 2 where the liftoff is taking place. Interesting workflow uh, that happens here. We've got 12 stations on floor with a rest station in between 6 and 7. And we've moved on to our Masters ladies. 35 and over for the ladies to be qualified as a master. Here on the first station we have a 30 kg snatch, stations 1 to 6 all snatches, 7 to 12 squat cleans and as they move along the stations the weights will get progressively heavier. Athletes are scored on the number of reps they can do, the first two stations counting for one point. The next two stations reps count, uh, three reps count for one point. And at the final two stations, one rep equals one point. So I might have got that wrong in the first two stations. It's five reps for one point. As we watch the next set of athletes coming onto the floor here. Team on screen, one of the favorites to uh, go far in this Masters competition. They competed at Last Man Standing out at Sun City in July. Had a phenomenal competition there. As we see some incredible uh, snatches here. Touch and go, touch and go. Great technique. Arms nice and close to the body, keeping the bar very close. Helping her turn over the bar really quickly. She's going to go through for the full 40 seconds, it looks like, on this particular workout. Not wasting any time on her transition. Just touch and go all the way through, and they're going to move on to station number two. Makes sense. You want to get as many reps as possible, particularly on these early stations, before the weights get heavy. Oh, it looks like over here we're going to go one athlete, as many reps as possible. We are five kilos heavier and 35 kilos at station number two. But equally impressive, the snatches from athlete number two here. She's cruising through her snatches again. Those arms nice and close to the body, keeping that bar really uh, close there. And she's able to rotate, getting that full extension on the arms in the snatch. Wonderful turnover, great technique. I think I'll really use her legs to power that bar up. And they're going to move on to station number three. And we're going to see the third team member chalk up and get stuck in here. Got Chris Williams in the commentary booth with me. Chris uh, Jim's out of the 360 Vita here in four ways. Chris, uh, what have you thought so far of the uh, liftoff that you've seen from the ladies in both the foundational and the scale divisions? I mean, that scale division was huge. <laughs> so many teams coming through. But uh, yeah, any, any anything catch your eye in particular? Um, I think it's I think it's hard to keep track of the amounts of ladies, which I think is just incredible. Of, and I think it goes out to the battle to 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 host such an event of this nature, which is incredible. Um, I think is that the teams the teams that can lift heavy at the end seem to be pulling away, getting some good points on the board early on. I think it'll be interesting to see is what we saw today, um, Steve, was that the teams chasing in the final did better than the teams who had the lead other than the open men so I think it's going to be <clears throat> how much do you pace yourself I mean it's only been two of a potential five absolutely but uh, oh, the other side of that coin is uh, getting to event five only the top seven teams qualify as we see this particular team deciding not to uh, a snatch on the, the heaviest weight here they're going to uh, take an extra rest at station 6 
before they move on to their squat cleans. Yeah, so going back to that, Chris, to only the top seven teams qualify for that final, and then for each point ahead you are on the leaderboard, you get an extra second head start. So the team going first, whatever their lead is, they get that that many seconds as a head start which does give them an advantage it was surprising though as you noted that uh, in the foundation the scaled and the masters events that uh, the team starting first didn't actually win those divisions it was only chaos squad kalami who uh, took out the win from first place in the ev uh, final event in the men's division yeah i think i think steve's balance with the um going back to my other points that everyone in CrossFit always gives 100% but I think it's just if you're chasing someone there seems to be that target which the teams really enjoyed this morning um, I don't know if the heat's got a factor into that but potentially that the teams out in front either went too quickly um, I think it was around round three they got caught so I think it's I think it's a fascinating way to see it is that you want to make the final but do you want to be leading going into that final based on today yeah, r r really interesting thoughts there. Uh, and the, the heat's going to be a factor for the, for, for the girls tomorrow as well. Uh, we're expecting r soaring temperatures here in Joburg. It seems the battle always manages to coincide with the uh, first heat of summer. Uh, and as uh, wonderful a venue as Monte Cassino is, the arenas are, are exposed to the heat and um, it gets real hot on, on those floors. Speaking to some of our cameramen earlier, I know they were they were sweating it out there. Uh, the mats really just give off so much heat. As we see uh, some squat cleans here. This is station seven. First round of squat cleans for these masters ladies. A little bit rounded in the back there, struggling to to get it up. She hands off, but her, she has to clear the the station first before her partner can move in. And there we see a much straighter back and a much quicker turnover. That's good technique from the girl on screen at the moment. The Battle 2023 brought to you by Puma. Headline sponsors forever foster. So massive shout out to the guys at Puma. They've uh, really uh, made this event possible and the spectacle that it is. Looking at station number five here. That's a 50 kilo squat. Looks like this team is going to go one rep at a time here. Good squat there. Snatch, snatch. Apologies, yes, the snatch. And another successful snatch. Good technique on this, rotating nice and quickly. Remember, each rep here will count for one point, opposed to the earlier stations where you had to uh, get through five reps for a point. They're doing really well here. It seems like this team, only two of the athletes are able to lift at this weight. And they're gonna move on to station number six. This production brought to you by It's Happening Africa. It's been an absolute privilege to be involved here at the battle. We've had some wonderful action so far yesterday and today. We've got another day of action. But if uh, you like what you see on screen, think about coming down to Monte Casino here in Four Ways to catch it all live. There are two arenas running. And it's going to be jam-packed all day. First heats kick off at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. A reminder to those of you that are watching at home that after events 1 and 2, event 1 being the functional fitness in Arena 1, event 2 on your screens now, the lift-off that we're seeing. The teams will be ranked and heats will be determined per ranking. So uh, your first heats will be the top ranked sides on the leaderboards. A wonderful opportunity here for the girls to uh, get through as much work as possible, get those scores on the board here in the liftoff. Good snatch there, getting that right up, rep counting. 
She's back for round two here. And it's up. Two points on the board for this team. Doing really well. That's a good number of reps. She's getting good points on the board here for her team. She's going to get one more in on this 40-second segment. Lifting heavy for her team there. Chris, what do you think of the technique you saw there? I think absolutely fantastic. I think she gave herself time between each rep, um, settled herself really well, got a strong base, and then just absolutely smashed it out the park, reset and went again. I think so much about CrossFit is more than just pure strength. It's breathing, it's controlling your mind, it's controlling your flexibility. So I think she did really well there. Mobility is such an important part of the CrossFit world. Can't emphasize enough how important it is to, to get that on uh, in your training regimes. Make sure you're working on that range of motion, that flexibility, so you can uh, work through these movements. Also protect yourself from injury and uh, when we're throwing around heavy weights like the, the, the girls are doing at the moment. We're going to look at some of the uh, heavy squat cleans now. Team on the last station, on the second to last station here. We've got 60 kilos on the bar. No problems here for uh, one of the teams we, we got a little bit of coverage of earlier. As we said, the, this team is one of the favorites coming into the competition. And we can see why as they uh, cruise through these heavy snatches, uh, heavy squat cleans. 60 kilos on the bar, no problems. She started the rep and she's going to get it. And they move on for their 20 second rest here. I love the outfits here with the uh, stripes on the bottom for two of the athletes and stripes on the top for, for, for the middle athlete. 65 kilos down and up. Touch and go. She gets it again. She's going to go for a third. That's great work. And she swaps out. That's wonderful for work from the athlete there. Three points on the board. Let's see what her teammates can deliver. Again, touch and go. Looking comfortable at this heavy weight. Really impressive stuff here from the Masters ladies. Going for her third squat clean. And it's up. Six points in that segment. They'll be really happy with that. That's going to score them nicely as they move on into event number three. Done for the competition. There they are. The next round of 65 kilo squat keens. She's looking so strong here. Yeah. There's three reps. And into four. Probably the most impressive squat cleans that we've seen so far. Uh, yeah, I have to agree. Once again, I think the confidence to drop under that bar. You can see those elbows shoot right through. As she drops, she catches it. She has the confidence. Her technique is spot on, and she's making this heavyweight look extremely light. Out. Yeah, seventh rep there uh, for her. She's going to go on to eight. She's going to get eight reps in this segment. No, she's not. Oh, just buckles at the end there, but seven reps. One athlete. We saw the previous team got through six between two of them. Great work there. I hope she hasn't hurt herself as she just uh, buckled a little bit under that weight. Looks like it might be a wrist there. Some good snatching here on screen at the 50 kilo snatch. 
touch and go. So impressive that work, getting through it nice and quick, keeping those arms nice and wide, full extensions on them. It's got through five as we can see from the judge on the ground there. She's gonna stay on the bar. There's six, seven, yeah. rep counts, going for eight, great work. And that's that segment done for her. We're going to head over to the 60 kilo squat clean. And she gets it up, gets through three reps there, hands over to her teammate. Break at the knees, break at the hip, she gets it up. She's only going to go for one, let's see what uh, teammate number three can get through in this particular movement, and it's up. Back over to the snatches, number 23, Yan Yan Yan. So fun this time. Absolutely. Carrying, uh, carrying her team there in the 50 kilo snatch. I believe she got through seven reps as well. Heading over to station number seven now. This is the first weight, 40 kilos on the squat clean. Nice cycle here. Good straight back, keeping the bar nice and close to the body. Elbows coming through nice and quick, getting right under there. She'll be very happy with us. Remember on mat number seven, five reps for one point, as well as on mat eight. And she gets that up. Great work there. We're going to head over to the introductory, uh, the first station. Welcome a new team onto the floor. 30 kilos is the weight. Ready to rock and roll are these girls. And she's cycling through really nicely there. Teammates waving to the crowd. Crowd has really been exceptional throughout the weekend. The community has come out in their numbers. It's great to see them here and getting stuck in and creating the atmosphere that we have here at Monte Casino for the Battle 2023. If you're sitting at home watching this and you're wondering what you're going to do with your Sunday, think carefully about coming down to support these incredible women who will be uh, completing their last three events tomorrow and we've got our next team are coming onto the floor starting off at 30 kilograms while we wait for them a reminder the battle 2023 hosted at Monte Casino proudly brought to you by Forever Foster Puma, that is, Forever Foster. This has been a production of It's Happening God Africa. It's been an absolute privilege to bring you the coverage here of this incredible event. One of the highlights of the South African CrossFit calendar. And we'll take a look at the 50 kilo snatch. Cycling through really nicely there. She's going to swap out. Has to leave the uh, mat first before her teammate can uh, come in. And in fact, they lose the opportunity to get a last rep in there because uh, she didn't exit the floor quick enough. So, Chris, just thinking about um, how you would approach this... Uh, event if you were competing in this uh, there's 12 stations where would you be looking to score your points 
Uh, Steve, off the bat, I'll be relying on my teammates. Hey? I think that's where I would have to start as wine bets. I think, I think decide if you've got six stations, split it up in two based on your strength. If I'm the, if I don't lift as heavy as my teammates, maybe I'll try to cycle the early weights, get that out the way, give them time to recover. I think it's really important to ensure you get that recovery going through the middle section, going from the snatch to the cleans. I think that's very important to keep that stamina for the end. As we see uh, this lady in, in lane 12 having a go at the 65 squat clean, not able to get a rep in there, and they are done for the evening. They'll be back tomorrow morning as the ladies head into event number three, functional fitness event. Sorry, the gymnastics event is a, a, event three. Functional fitness obviously was event number one. Oh, that's a little bit heavy. She's going to hand over to her teammate. 65 kilos on the bar here at station number 12. Each rep worth a point. And she stands it up. That's great work. Just going to take a moment, gather herself. Too heavy for her teammates. They're relying on her to get the points in, and she just gets too far under that. That's going to be uh, uh, her effort for the evening. Nope, and that's not going to count, unfortunately. So they're done. We'll be back with some more lifting a little bit later.